Yo guys, what's poppin'? Welcome back to another video. This video is the overnight survival challenge on a budget. I don't mean survival challenges in what marines do, etc, etc, literally off the wilderness. But I wanted to bring a video for you guys, just in case you were struggling with budget at these times, because the economy's obviously gone down. But I wanted to bring some light of how to do things without the expensive price point. So stay tuned for this video guys because it's going to be a fun one. So let's get this challenge started. So I have my bag, I have my water bottle if I want to, you know, fill some water up, etc, etc. I have my tent and my hoodie. So I'm all sorted with the gear, I just need to get the food, which I've got already in my bag obviously, and set everything up. So imagine looking at all this, there's the view, and then you turn around to see this orange bastard <laughs> in the green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is me. This is my channel. <laughs> yeah, subscribe. <laughs> so I've anchored my tent down with one peg on the front and because it doesn't have any side holes because that's the actual tent when it bends and stuff, I put a rock <laughs> right on the edge because the ground is rocky and it ain't soily as much so you can't really put tent pegs so i need to weigh down so the tent is set up i just need to set up all my gear now um my stove etc etc and <laughs> one story with a stove <laughs> you know exactly who you are <laughs> james thomas go follow him the cameraman um <laughs> we were down by the river one day i think it was like um two weeks ago and <laughs> We were making a cup of coffee down by the river. So it's currently raining. Uh, knock a kettle off. Ah, nice brew. Three in one. Best coffee. Tip some in a bad boy. Have a look. Coffee's in here, nothing <laughs> in the sachet. You know, as you do. Um, so, <laughs> just a little quick story. Uh, gonna get all my gear sorted now, get some water for my water bottle, and get things ready for tonight. So, here's my sleeping mat for my tent, so I don't, you know, lay on the ground, basically in the tent. Um, I'm gonna get that sorted now, and might collect some wood for the fire that I might do, but I don't know yet. So, my mattress or my a bed so to speak has been inflated and if you ever wonder probably not but for the people that what like doing camping etc it's a double valve a mattress um made of rip stop so it's a high quality material and it cost me because it's not a big brand about 30 30 pounds so not too expensive not too cheap but hopefully that'll stay through the night because i've never used these before ever but let's pray. Um, I've done that now. Gonna collect some firewood because I'm starving. I've literally only had one meal today and it's roughly, hang on, let me get time. It is 5.03 p.m. See, 5.03 p.m. So that's what I'm gonna do, get some firewood so I can make a little fire so I can boil water and, you know, make some food because me hungry. So, I managed to get some dried ferns for as a fire starter with some little kindling to start to get the fire going after the fire starter. And then to carry it on even more, I've got thicker sticks, as you can tell. And then, you know, I haven't got a lot of these, only got two, but that's all I can find. So bear that in mind, because I'm on <laughs> private property, but the land I'm on is owned by the farmer and, uh, you know, I used to work for the farmer. Little did you know I used to work as a farmer, helper. And he kindly let me go on the um, land and use it to do this video. So if you're watching this, thank you. Um, 
so it's only so much I can do because obviously it's his land so I can only forage for what he doesn't use so that's all I can find so far but hopefully I mean hopefully I can find more because that's not looking too promising but it's better than nothing so I managed to salvage some rocks for the fire pit I've got all my stuff ready to go and now I'm gonna start the fire so got the bed of ferns got the sticks and yes um <laughs> don't ask why I ain't cooking on this? It's no particular reason, but I wanted, you know, to make a fire to show you, you know, if you've never made a fire before, how to work it. But I'm going to use this to light the fire, because, you know, damn damn be a me. Uh, I didn't bring my matches. So I'm going to light this fire now. Uh, once that's doing, I'm going to add them sticks on, and then the thicker sticks, and then cook some food. Yeah, as you can tell, I tried lighting it, but... Um, yeah, I remember the the wood that's used is willow, and apparently it's a wet wood, so it retains more water, so it's not completely dry. That's why I am got a fire. So bear that in mind when you're actually starting a fire. Make sure you know what wood is what. Dry woods are the best because they just you know do perfect when light in a fire because they actually do light whereas willow not so much so looks like i'll be just using the uh, gas canister to cook my food and i'll be cold tonight <sighs> yeah it sucks also i wanted to say what's in my bag for food wise uh these noodles per pack it was something like 20 or 30 pence which is mega cheap you can get three for less than a pound um this mackerel in a can for the protein and the oils etc etc um, that was about 60 70 pence um, this chicken soup was roughly 50 pence 5p more 5p less um, and the sausage or beans I think were the same so round about three pound or less you can have all of these and these will last easily through the day and into the next day depend on how you use it but I've got one pouch of oats for the morning and then I'm setting off because obviously it's an overnight but I'm sorted for food gotta get my water and I'll be cooking as soon as possible so just been to fill my can up um, I brought tea with me with sugar I am got milk unfortunately but I'm gonna make some tea because also I am drunk a lot today <laughs> And you can see on my Instagram story, I almost passed out because of it. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. But nonetheless, um, I'm going to make some noodles. I've decided because i got the water. I'm going to make a cup of tea and finally enjoy the second meal of today. So got a little pot I'm cooking in. Got the water. And save some for my tea. Got my two packs of noodles because I'm absolutely Marvin. I mean starving. Also, let me know down in the comments if you add your sachets in with the water or um, cook them or boil them until they're soft. Drain the water and add them later for more intense flavour. So, since the campfire idea didn't work because of the wood, I know it sounds stupid. Uh, I'm cooking my food on the stove instead. So once this is done, I'm gonna make my cup of tea and finally enjoy my day. So my noodles are cooked and I can't wait to tuck into these. I'm boiling the water as we speak uh, to make my tea because I've got it in a pouch. Hang on a sec. I've got it in a pouch, sugar and one tea bag. So I'm gonna eat this now and get back to you in a minute so now the water is started to boil I can add my tea all in and out yes boy so that's not the actual light that or filter this is actually the tea color so what we do drain the tea bag yeet <laughs> um, so I've got my tea now with sugar, no milk, and I've got the rest of my noodles which I've been eating since boiling the water for the tea. I'm going to have a sit down now and finally relax. So before it gets too dark, I, you probably can't see that, but 
I've got my tea by there. I've got my bottle by here that I'm gonna fill up because it's getting dark around here as you can see. So that being said, I'm gonna fill up my water just in case I need it for tonight. And so I can um, cook food in the morning if I need to do and a coffee. So just filled my bottle up. You probably can't see it. And also my tent is in here. Which also you can't see, even though it's bright fucking orange. But today, it's been ups and downs. <laughs> but all, in all, it's been a good day. And I'm gonna settle in for the night. Not go to sleep, settle in for the night. Because it is currently 6.49 p.m. And it's starting to get cold and that's, you probably can't see it. But that's why I've got my hoodie on. So, I'm gonna settle in now, probably play some Clash of Clans. <laughs> You know, the OGs, um, watch a little bit of Netflix maybe, and some YouTube, and then go to sleep. So, uh, if there's anything interesting, I'll fill you in. So, um, I'm getting ready for bed. Not obviously sleeping, but I'm getting ready to snuggle up. Because it's not too cold, but, you know, it's a chill in here. But, um... I'm going to watch some Netflix, play some Clash of Clans, and by the time I think it's roughly 6 or 7 o'clock now, so roughly once that's done, um, I'll be going to sleep. So it is currently 8.18pm and I'm watching a YouTube video just to prove it. So, I'm gonna go to sleep, maybe after this, because I feel drained, and I don't know if you can see me or not, but I'm wearing a hat, because I don't want my head getting cold, and losing heat through my head tonight, because I can feel the cold already. So, I'll fill you in if anything else happens, but in the meantime, good night. It looks like I'm an angel with a halo on my head. But it ain't, it's a torch, well, a light for a phone to go over. It's like a TikTok lamp. But I don't use TikTok because it's utter shit. But I'm using it as a head torch. But that's not the reason why I'm videoing this. I'm videoing it because I want to show you that I'm currently eating a tin of macro and watching uh, YouTube, so if we ask tomorrow, or ask in a couple of minutes where, where it's gone, I've eaten it tonight. Good morning guys, um, it's currently 5.03 in the morning, uh, I've been struggling to sleep literally all night. It was either too cold, or when you put your legs together and turn on the side, sometimes your knees can like rub against each other and it really hurt. I've had that all night. It's been a shit night. It really has. But I've got through it. I'm still here, still alive. <laughs> Obviously. But I'm going to try and make some food soon. Uh, stay up for a bit, and... I'll fill you in when I'm eating the food. So I had a bit of time off. Um, it's currently 6.05 a.m. And I'm going to make some beans and sausage on the stove. Because I've got ventilation, which is important if you're using a gas. So you don't have carbon monoxide. And carbon monoxide is a silent killer. And I wouldn't recommend uh, using that in those unless it's a ventilated area. Uh, so I'm going to cook that now and get back to you. And just like that, magic. I don't know if you can see, but it's steaming right now. Because I've just cooked it. And I would have filmed it cooking, but I literally had two hands. One holding the stove because I didn't want it to tip over and burn the tent. And also one holding the hand of this pot with sausage and beans which i can't wait to tuck in now it's roughly quarter past six in the morning ah uh, yeah 
So guys, I'm going to wrap it up for today's video. Um, what have we learned today? One, don't be a dumbass like me and stay overnight in cold weather because it sucks. Um, also, I've still got a tin of soup left from two packs of noodles, a tin of soup, uh, sausage and beans and a tin of mackerel. So, I've had four foods within the space of 12 plus hours so basically half a day including the night you can have that and you can even ration it down even further but the point being I'm trying to make sure that you know it's not difficult to go camping you don't need to buy these expensive extravagances and waste money to be honest because you don't need it it's more of a luxury than a need so again thank you guys for watching this video i know it's been uh, a long one because i'm gonna edit it now and yeah it's gonna suck <laughs> but thank you again guys for watching this video uh like this video to get the youtube algorithm going comment down below if you would do this challenge and let me know if you have done something like this before um subscribe to my youtube channel and again guys thank you so much uh, see you in the next video. Hurrah!